How many of you guys have division between band and guard? Yeah, that's, that's one of the, yeah, it's, I just don't like that. Maybe plan some activities where you feel more like the band and get with the drum major and say, hey, we want to be involved. The question and answer panel tonight is separated between the guys and the girls so that you can feel free to ask, you know, sometimes gender questions and sometimes open-ended questions about how um, you may be dealing with something. Uh, this is a student-led activity where they submit the questions prior to us arriving and they vote on what they think is important to, to ask. Those important questions get to us and we answer as many of them as we can during the hour. The panel tonight is about answering some of the concerns that students may have as they step into a leadership position in their various band programs or orchestra programs and helping to give them some information that will allow them to gain a little more confidence. As a panel, we just give our most transparent answer and try to help them and direct them to have dialogue with their directors or maybe how to start a dialogue or how to um, even broach that topic or maybe even solve the problem without having to go to the director. It's okay to apologize for things that you did wrong because people are going to respect you more if you recognize, hey, I may have totally flipped out when really it wasn't that big of a deal and I could have approached this differently. Common themes of questions that they ask would be anywhere from, as a woman, how do you deal with being in charge and maybe people not respecting you? Um, or what, uh, what do you do when there's a fight in, in your program and you've got to step in? Students may have concerns about um, even not just student to student conflict, but even to how to communicate with their directors. If I'm a senior, am I going to get the drum major over a junior? Uh, why teachers pick the literature they pick? Why band directors are on the field and say we want to be a family and be calm, but yet react really in a scary manner? So those are some of the, the common themes. So it's not really about getting that person, the group of people, to respect me or to follow your lead as much as it is to bring them into the fold. Sometimes the challenges of being a female leader and the challenges of being a male leader can be extremely different. Um, and so it gives us the opportunity to address their questions and concerns in a more specific way. As a young lady in leadership position, we are challenged with wanting to serve our, our students in an assertive, in a confident, in a focused way. When we do that, it's sometimes called aggressive or over the top or control freak, whereas sometimes our male counterparts do the same and it's, that's awesome, man, they're just a solid leader. I didn't just march. I didn't just march, you're right. Um, I was actually the first female drum major of the Santa Clara Vanguard. And so giving them, hopefully this week, this weekend, giving them some of those skills to work through those situations and actually push that glass ceiling up just a little higher while smiling and being graceful all the way.